Storing data on the blockchain is expensive. That's why blockchain applications store large files on centralized servers. But with a project called IPFS, you can have both decentralization and an inexpensive storage. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and at Edoblox, I help Web2 developers transition into Web3. IPFS is a distributed file system protocol. It was created in 2015 by Juan Benet. Its development is managed by a company called Protocol Labs. IPFS is written in Golang and this is its repo on GitHub. The IPFS network is composed of computers that run a software called the IPFS client. Anybody can participate in the IPFS network, either as an IPFS node that runs the IPFS client or as a user of the network to store and retrieve files. You can store any kind of file, text, music, video, images, which can be very useful for NFTs, for example. Contrary to HTTP, with IPFS, the data is not tied to any location, but to content. When you upload a file to IPFS, you get a hash representing the content. This hash uniquely identifies the content and can be used to retrieve the file. If you upload another file, its hash will be completely different. And to make sure a file wasn't altered, you can always recompute the hash of the file locally and make sure it matches the original IPFS hash. With HTTP, a file is downloaded from one server at a time, but with IPFS, a file is downloaded from multiple nodes at once. This allows to save up to 60% of bandwidth. To retrieve a file, there are two options. Either you use HTTP URLs provided by the IPFS gateway, accessible with any web browser, or you use IPFS URLs, which require you to have access to an IPFS node, and currently only the Brave browser can understand these URLs. IPFS is not a blockchain, and there is no guarantee of data availability. If you want to make sure your data will be available, you can either run your own IPFS node, pay a node operator to store your data long term, that's what we call pinning, or even more simple, use an API that manages the pinning for you, like Web3 Storage. Web3 Storage was created by Protocol Labs, the company that created IPFS, and it's one of the most simple API for IPFS. It exposes a classic HTTP API to store, pin, and retrieve files from IPFS, and it does the pinning for free. And if you want to know more about Web3 Storage, you can watch this video on my channel. I will see you there.